alaikum grade 6 welcome again to the physics session today inshallah we gonna start the lesson number three in this chapter chapter number two and you can remember this chapter talking about the motions so today or the title for today we are going to another phenomena or big phenomena in physics and this is talking about the law of motions and that's discovered by Newton so the title for today Newton's law of motions today we have three laws of motion and that's describing all the motions of all objects around you we have three main laws in motion that's described by Newton's and we can call this Newton's laws of motion we have number one or law number one of motion by Newton's first law that's talking about the uh, inertia and we know in this is lesson we can know the inertia and number two that's talking about any force that's giving any objects that's making acceleration for for this is object number three that's in opposite forces acting together that's equal in the strength and opposite in direction so today we're gonna talk about the Newton's law of motions we have three main laws in motion by Newton number one I call it inertia number two that's talking about any objects can get it force that can make the acceleration for this is object number three opposite forces equal in strength and opposite in direction so before the beginning in, the, in this lesson horse force and this is picture for Newton that is covering the laws of motion and this is uh, you can call this the father of uh, classical physics so Newton or many scientists have using everyday examples to explain their ideas for hundred years ago so the equations for its form in Newton's mathematical principles uh, of natural philosophy which was first published in the 1680 so this is the first time that's published this is a theory or this is laws that's describing the motion so Newton's used this is book uh, to set down his laws of motion and describing all the motions for all objects around you those three sample of laws describing much of the motions around you and they continue to be studied today in our life and we can feeling the benefits for the scientists like Isaac Newton and that's describing also phenomena here in physics like gravity and the laws of gravity and the laws of motion and that describing three main laws that describing all the motions so in the beginning you can beginning in the law number one or the Newton's first law of motion so what is Newton's first law of motion uh, how can we can describing the Newton's first law of motion so if an object in not moving it will not start moving until affecting or until force acts on it so any objects stay in this space will not affecting any other force so in objects if it's non moving or not moving we stay or until non -mo not moving for acting with another force so if an object is moving that continue moving in constant velocity 
that on so a force act to change the speed of uh, this is object or direction so the law or Newton's first law of motion that describing the motion in states and the changing the state of an object that need force any object we can change the state of this object due to the force so in any object stay non not moving we g give him any force can make uh, acceleration, acceleration or moving or changing the state and any object in motion and I give him force that continue to uh, this is in raising the speed of this object or changing the directions Newton laws in the simple words first law of motion by Newton's that's talking about any object or an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force so an object moving at a constant velocity will continue moving at a constant velocity always acting upon by unbalanced force to change the speed of this object or the direction for this is object so you can watch that uh, video that's explaining this is ball that can stay in this is state non moving before this is man kick it and give it the force to changing the state to moving to move it, to make the moving and acceleration for this is ball and this is ball coming again to slow down and stop before or because the friction force that's kind of force so any objects need to change the states of this is objects by motions again you can watching this is from uh, formula or this is equation that's describing the Newton's first law the all forces or net forces that equal m times a mass times acceleration so when force equals zero that's meaning this is object non affecting with any forces non affecting with any forces so the net force equals zero so the force is cancelled we can cancel the forces so the acceleration absolutely zero because the force zero so zero times m or mass that's equal to you so non a change in motion so we have to change the motion any object in motion changing the speed and the direction changing the uh, a non moving object to moving object that needing force. So, first law of motions by Newton that describing any change of state by forces. So, this is ball can change the state of this is ball to motion by kick it by give it the force and slow down and stop again by force called friction force. And we know what's the meaning of friction force before in the last session so that's called Newton first law of motion that's driving force affecting to change force affecting to change the state of an object now you can go to the inertia this is laws of, uh, of Newton's of motions Newton laws of motions that's called inertia what's the meaning of inertia all objects raises change in motion and change in motion by force resistance or resistance to change in motion is called inertia inertia that's ability to change your states or ability to change the state of an object and the greater that mass and objects the greater inertia so the inertia that's greater in when the object greater in mass and the greater force required the change of uh, the, uh, the motion and that means acceleration after that so to understand the inertia we can watch this is video and this is ball can changing 
the stage of this ball by inertia. And in another picture here, when you are riding the car and with having something or accident suddenly, you or your body going forward. Why? Because the ability to changing the, the body state and this is called inertia. So inertia that's ability to keep it in your state when affecting by another forces. So you can watch this is ball and the change of state of this is ball that's due to the force and this is called inertia. Again inertia that's ability for stay in the in your state or the object stay in state that due to affected by forces and that's the, uh, the Newton first law called inertia and the larger inertia that's uh, with a large mass and with a large amount of force that make a large motion or uh, momentum and large acceleration excellent now you can go to the Newton second law of motion so what is Newton's second law of motion? Ah, Newton's second law of motion states an object acceleration depend on its mass and on the net force acting on it. So now, after I giving the force for this is object, that's giving acceleration. So this is acceleration depending on two factors. Number one mass of this is objects and the net force I give him this is net force so the motion of an object depend on two things number one mass and number two the net force so the relationship between uh, this is factors that uh, written like this acceleration acceleration for all objects in motion that equal net force by mass net force i give him this is net force and the mass for this is object so the formula can rearrange it to show how much force must be applied to an object to get to get it to acceleration at a certain rate so this is low or this is a formula that main formula for Newton's to describing the motions net force or F equal mass M times a acceleration and we know before that force force that huh, you can tell me force that measures by units Newton and mass by kilogram or gram and acceleration that uh, measured by units called uh, who can tell me excellent meters by second or per second per second and that is called meters per second squared so again acceleration is measured by meters per second per second that's called meter per second square and mass is measured by kilogram that's in uh, its eye or uh, the international systems for units and Newton's second law shows that force is measured by kilogram times meter so now we should know another unit we know the units of speed and units for acceleration and units for force and units for mass so now what is the meaning of uh, or what we who can describe the units of, nor, uh, of uh, force by newton so the force can measure by units called newton what's that uh, equal kilograms times meter per second squared and this is meaning that kilogram for mass and meters per second squared 
that acceleration. So all of this amount of units that can call it Newton. So Newton equal kilogram times meter per second squared. And Newton that called for this is amount of, of units in its uh, units of force or international system of units. I hope you understand the second law of motion. Again, second law of motion that's describing the amount of acceleration of an object in motion that's depending on of mass and net force. Acceleration equal net 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 force by mass and net force equal masses times acceleration and this is big phenomena or big formula in the classic physics that's related to the motion and acceleration you can remember that's uh, measured by meters per second squared and the masses you know that's measured by kilograms and all of this can equal Newton and Newton a new unit that measuring the force and equal, that's equal kilogram times meters per second squared and this is in international system for units is on. Now you can go to the next step but before you can making a summary again for the Newton second law of motion. The big phenomena here F equal in A. F force or net force equal mass of an object and times acceleration of an object in motion. So this is car, and I put it my leg in the fuel. The car is starting to motion. So that's giving force to make it motion. So the force that's giving in an, in an object that give him or they do to make him make a motion. So this is motion described by what by acceleration and acceleration that's discovered by changing the speed or changing the velocity so force give it to an object this is car that make it to her uh, to changing this uh, the state and make it motion and describing this motion by acceleration and acceleration depending on two factors m mass of this is object and f force for this is object so you can watch there, this is boy that can kick the ball and give it force to make it acceleration or make it motion that's driving by, by acceleration. And this, that give forces in this is direction, in this is box to make it move in the same acceleration and this is acceleration depending in two things. Mass of this is ball or this is box, and the forces that's giving to so the force and the mass that's depending the amount of acceleration. Again, Newton's second law of motion that describing the amount of acceleration depending on the mass and force. Now, I hope you understand the second law of motion. And you can remember any question in any time, just tell me and send me in WhatsApp. The last point in our lesson today is that what Newton's third motion, and that's describing the opposite forces that's equal in strength but opposite in direction. Third, Newton's laws that of motion that's talking about for opposite forces acting together in opposite direction so Newton's third law of motion states that if one object is extracts a force and another object the second object extracts a force and if equal strength in the opposite direction of the first object. So what does this mean? 
in the simple world what this is mean or Newton's third law of motion means in the simple world there is action and reaction action and reaction that's equal in strength but difference in the direction and actually opposite in direction so if we have two forces describe this is state of motion we have two kinds of motion uh, we have two kinds of force number one in this is direction number two in this is direction so if this is boy that's riding this is bicycle this is well to do to make motion we have two forces equal in strength but in different direction and opposite direction so in the simple words the Newton third of motion we can call it every action there is a reaction every action there is a reaction equal in the stream and opposite in direction the simple word the third law of motion by Newton's I can call it every action there is a reaction equal in strength and opposite in direction so another way state uh, Newton's law of uh, motion that's describing every action there is an equal but opposite direction action and reaction forces do not necessarily cancel out because they may act on different objects so you can watch this is video that's describing the action and reaction there in this is video here the force equal but in different equal in strength in different uh, in different direction this is direction this is direction and this is different direction so action and reaction this is Newton third law of motion number two this is video that's describing the uh, reaction and re and action and the uh, there is different reaction in different direction but in equal in force in strength again action and reaction and difference in direction so this is the end of this is lesson but we but before finishing this is lesson we can watching a video that sample video for uh, make a summary for all what we said about the third or three laws of motion by Newton. I'd like to talk about Newton's three laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton lived in the 1600s and developed three laws to describe all states of motion. Law number one, or also called the law of inertia, states that matter wants to resist any change in motion. If an object is at rest, it wants to stay at rest. If an object is in motion, it wants to stay in motion. Also, the more massive an object, the greater its inertia. These dominoes will stay at rest forever unless an outside force acts on it, like this push from someone's hand. Also, this player punts the ball. Due to inertia, what does the ball want to keep doing? Stay in motion, but why doesn't because outside forces like air friction and gravity act on it. Why is this car hard to push? That is because it wants to stay at rest and it has a larger mass than the man trying to push it. Law 2, two states that the acceleration of an object depends on the force acting on it and the mass of the object. There's also an equation to go along with this law and it states that force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. Look at this golf swing. The golf club has a high rate of acceleration and strikes the golf ball with great force. This hammer has a greater mass and acceleration than the piggy bank and look what happens. And finally law three states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Look closely at this jellyfish swimming. As the jellyfish moves its body backward, 
it actually moves forward because the water exerts a force in the opposite direction, which causes the jellyfish to move forward. Same with the skateboard. The foot is pushing the skateboard backwards, but the skateboard is going forward. That is because the foot and the pavement is exerting a force in the opposite direction, causing it to go forward when pushing backwards. So there we go, Newton's three laws of motion. So, I hope you understand this is video and this is explaining deeply the Newton's or three laws of motion by Newton's. So, I hope you understand the lesson for today. That's very easy for you. And I hope you understand the three laws of motion describing the motion. Before we going, I want to tell you about any question in this lesson or in the last lessons, we can tell me and call me anytime and send me in WhatsApp. And thank you for listening and goodbye.